so tell me how you found out you were going to the College Football Hall of Fame and what your emotions were like when you found out. Um, this is going to be unique. Um, so I went to – so I found out about the College Football Hall of Fame. I went to Georgia. They told me at ESPN I was covering the Georgia – doing a Georgia hit. And I actually got on camera, and then Reese Davis pops on camera, and they're asking – they asked a question about something, and then – Reese says, hey, I just want to let you know you got inducted to the College Football Hall of Fame. And then my mom and my daddy and my son and my daughter and my wife were all there. They had snuck them there. So it was literally on live television. So good thing I didn't say any words I shouldn't have said. Um, but it was, it was cool. So what does it mean to you to be here and, and going in? Um, it, it means more to me um, being here just because of my family. Like, I – I mean, I, I don't love the personal attention and personal awards, but, like, I got a good opportunity to, to bring my mom and my daddy and um, tell them how much they meant to me. And I got a chance to call a lot of people and be like, look, this doesn't happen without you. So it was uh, it was really cool just from that aspect because I got to tell a lot of people thank you. Talk about the influences your coaches had on you and who really did have the biggest influence on you in college. Well, it started with my daddy. My dad was my football coach since I was six to – um, eighth grade. So he taught me football and taught me how to love football and um, never put me in camps, never put me in all, never made me do all kinds of stuff. He just loved the game and let me play. And um, so it started with my daddy and then got to high school and Eddie Shaddix had a huge uh, shoot. I actually did quit football after my sophomore year of high school and um, you know, having he talked me into coming back out and working out with him, and so uh, you know, and then I had Coach Krieger and Coach Charlie Jordan, and then Coach Fabris at Georgia with Coach Rick, and I mean the list goes on. These these people, you don't make it where you're at without them. You don't. They, they teach you how to work. They teach you how to be a man. They teach you what's important because um, you don't have a clue in high school and in college. You're just you're messing everything up along the way, just like everybody else. What was it like going back to Georgia for your own campus celebration? Well, I don't think I've done that. You haven't done. Better get on this. <laughs> in the south, what do we, we don't do? Care what about do we, all of that stuff. Well, what, what is an on corpus? Oh, like, I I held my the plaque up. I did that. Was yeah, that it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, ask me that again. What was it like to go back on campus for your on campus celebration? Um, it was cool. I, I got to go during the during the football game this year. One of the football games, the South Carolina game, and they gave me the plaque in between the first and second quarter, I think, and got to hold it up with the the dog nation. So that was cool. And being back and just kind of sharing in that with everybody there. I mean, was that – there's got to be something a little bit special about that. You said you don't like personal accolades, so no, maybe – No. <laughs> um, well, I, again, it's it's always like my, my son and daughter and my wife, and when we get to go back, it's always a lot of fun to show them how cool it is. I'm like, look how cool this is. Like, this is – this is super fun. We didn't have this. We didn't have that. We didn't have that. It's fun to point out all the things that have grown and expanded um, since you were there, but it was awesome. You were recruited as a fullback, and you end up playing defense and becoming UGA's all-time sack leader. How does that happen? You did your homework on that one, yes. Um, I tell people all the time when I do go speak to kids is I was recruited as a fullback. Everybody got hurt at defensive tackle my freshman year. So I moved to defensive tackle my freshman year. Um, played defensive tackle, and then the spring, everybody went to the NFL. Never played defensive end a day in my life, and I moved to defensive end my sophomore year. So I always tell people, kids all the time, it doesn't matter whether you play. Like, just work hard, and good things will happen. So I changed three – I played three positions in six months on campus. So it was, uh, it was definitely kind of crazy to go from here to here to here. What's your greatest memory? Um, I think winning an SEC championship for the first time in 30 years was, was awesome to kind of bring that pride back. Um, so I think all of us coming together and, and doing that was fun. I wish we had a college football playoff because we finished three in the country. That would have been a lot of fun because we could have actually played for the national championship. But we had a good season that year. Speaking of three in the country, that's right, you know, going into this uh, playoff now. Well, Georgia, Michigan will be it will be a good game. I mean, two teams that are built on physicality and power and toughness. Who's going to blink? Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then you got Alabama and uh, Cincinnati on the other side. Cincinnati, the first group of five team ever to get in against the Alabama. Like, so I think it's it's awesome that Cincinnati got a shot and they get to go prove it against one of the true blue bloods. How big would it be to get another shot at Alabama at this point? Um, well, it, it, huge because Georgia's. Unfortunately, we're we've kind of getting gotten used to getting beat by Alabama. Unfortunately, but every time Georgia finishes five in the country, like remember they lost to him in the championship game and finished two. Well, in two other years you lose to him and you finish just outside the top five. You finish outside the top four, finish at five. So now 
because of your great season, you get an opportunity to continue to play. So now you get another shot. You get a shot in the natty where it matters the most. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah.